Hello, welcome to the Millionaire Woman Show, where we'll be discussing leadership, business, and human potential, inspiring you to live rich from the inside out. Unlock your creativity, stretch out of your comfort zone, break through your barriers, take inspired action, and achieve epic results. Now, here's your host, two-time best-selling author, speaker, and certified executive coach, Deborah Kosowski. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Millionaire Woman Show. I am so glad you've joined us, and if it's your first time, welcome. I'm your host, Deborah Kosowski, and I am here to talk to you about all things leadership, business, and human potential, so you can live your life rich from the inside out. Today, I want to talk to you about overcoming doubt. Doubt is that obstacle, barrier, roadblock that we put in our way. So if you are going through some self-doubt right now, this is the episode for you. So what I want to talk to you about today with overcoming doubt. Often doubt is not that we do not have the ability to go through and follow through on something. It's a lack of confidence in really achieving what we think that we can. When people get to a next level, they're often faced with doubt because they're challenged. They start questioning themselves and their abilities because what got them to one level maybe won't get them to the next level. So they start second guessing a lot of things. So what I want to impress upon you um, during this time together is that first of all, you're not alone. Everyone faces self-doubt at one time or another, questioning whether or not we can be successful at what we set our minds to. So one of the things that I want you to do is start taking an inventory. Take an inventory of your talents, your skills, your abilities. What are the things that you are really great at? Those strengths. What are the things that you know that you're pretty good at and you're getting great at? Number three is really start looking at your past successes. Success leaves clues. And sometimes this is a great time to pull out a journal and say, you know what? This is, was one of the things that I did and this is what, why I was successful. When you start looking for the clues of why you were successful, then it's rinse and repeat. Why recreate the wheel if you've already have an internal pattern that you know works? So these are some of the things that are going to strengthen and overcome the doubt. The fourth thing I want to share with you is we need to start questioning those thoughts, challenging those assumptions. And you know what? Often people will say, you know, I need to prove it to someone that I can succeed. That's great motivation for a certain extent. But the sweetest, most liberating motivation you can have is proving it to yourself. Because on some level, if you're triggered by what someone else says about your ability, on some level you believe it to be true. So let's crush that belief. Let's knock it out of the park and say, you know what, I got this. So when it comes to your abilities, your skills, successes, we're really starting to see a clearer picture of what success works for you. You have success habits. So to overcome them, you want to be able to have a clear picture of who you are and where you're heading. The other thing about doubt is preparation. You can crush any doubt by really being prepared for what it is that you need to do. Maybe you need to do some research. Maybe you need to follow up with someone. Maybe it all it is is a phone call to ask some of those questions. Instead of jumping to conclusions about what's possible, turn whatever you thought was impossible into reality and make it happen. So let's give you a little bit of a recap. All right. So one, know that you're not alone. Two, take that inventory of those skills, talents, and abilities that you have because you do have them and you're the only unique person to offer those. Three, don't forget to share those successes. Write down those successes. Four, 
Start looking for clues. Success leaves clues. Look at other times that you were successful. And of course, five, start questioning those beliefs. Do you know your beliefs to be true? What information are you missing? It's that preparation that gets you behind the eight ball. So what I want you to do is when you're thinking that you're doubting your ability, your skills, tap into those five things and really start changing the talk that you have going on in your head. Those six inches, that's all it takes to create that shift. So give yourself that pep talk, tell yourself that everything's possible and start going through that list. You are not alone and the best thing you can do is start surrounding yourself with people who raise you up, start pointing out your skills, talents and abilities, tell you what your strengths are, but they will challenge you on some of those beliefs that you have. I want to thank you for joining me on the show. And as Muhammad Gandhi said, be the change you wish to see in the world. If you want more great content or inspired to share, please share this video with other people so that we can start changing the world together. Go over to my website at www.debrakazowski.com. Sign up for our Success Secrets newsletter so you do not miss a beat. There will be tips and strategies and more things coming your way. Have a fabulous day.